Hey, Bricks and Motor Retailers, welcome to this week's very, very short video. And it's all about your retail team and how they might be sabotaging your profits. So you'll know, well, hopefully you do know, that you're starting to realize that your team, your retail team is your biggest asset. But are they driving profits within your store or are they draining them? And many retailers struggle to build a team that really, truly moves the needle. And having a team that can move the needle is one of the keys to drive profitability in your store. And many of us are underutilizing our team. And it's so annoying when I see, when I work with clients, I see this so much that the only way that you, the bricks and mortar retail store owner, can get out of the day to day is to entrust your team and start to put more effort into creating a rockstar team who are probably sabotaging your profit. So there are three really big mistakes I see retail store owners making. And that's the first one is not having a hiring process. So I get it. Uh, we No one really teaches us this stuff. And many of us hire on a whim. We hire when somebody leaves us all of a sudden and we quickly try to fill the hole or put the bandage on and hire someone very, very quickly. And that way we don't actually hire according to our requirements and what we need to fulfill the vision for our store to actually take the store where we need to. So yeah, we don't actually have a hiring system in place. So you need to make sure that you have a robust hiring system. And an example of a hiring system would be making sure that you're constantly hiring, that you have some sort of application process, so you can filter the leads, uh, sorry, not the leads, but they, well, they're effectively their leads. So filter the people that are coming through your business and then um, how you then manage that process from there. So make sure that you have a hiring process that you're, that you, and you're constantly hiring. Second biz biggest mistake I see bricks and mortar retailers uh, making when it comes to creating this amazing team that won't be sabotaging your profits is ensuring that the mistake that we make is we're not very clear on the the role of our team members so basically we've got no position description that's the old school term but it really just surprises me how many of us don't have position descriptions for the key role for all roles within our store right so think about it how how do your team members know what to do many of us just hire them to come into our stores and we just expect them to do things but we actually we as in the retail store owner haven't taken the time to think about what this particular position is there to do and how we want that to influence where our store needs to go into alignment with our vision. So yeah, we we actually, the big mistake is we're not actually very clear about the role. We're not making it very clear to our new team members. And of course, the third biggest mistake I see that's sabotaging our profits is not having any regular training and development of our team. So I get it. We, you know, many of us hire part-timers, casual staff, and we think it's probably not worth investing because in our team because they're only with us for three to five hours a week maybe uh, this is such a wrong way of thinking we need to ensure that you have some sort of training system and development system within your store right because when you think about it there is a whole heap of training that you should be doing on a regular basis customer service training sales training and you need to make sure that you have pizza and you need to make sure that you have drinks when you're doing these trainings so I, from what I see working with clients, and I certainly made the mistake in the beginning, is we're just not doing training enough. We're not training our team enough. And just like you, you know that training is, is more than a one-time event. We can't just train our team once and expect them to pick up the way that you can't just train them once and they become rock star uh, salespeople or customer service people, right? Training is a constant thing. It's all about repetition, 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 role playing, all those kind of things. Anyway, I've yapped on for way too long yet again. So that's what I wanted to, to drive home. Jesus, four minutes. So your, your retail team are sabotaging your profits because you're not doing these three things, these three big mistakes. Fix that and you'll be well on your way on driving profitability within a store. And I'm rushing, but it was such a tremendous opportunity for us retailers, for you retailers out there in the current environment, because with e-commerce, Amazon, apps, people shopping on, on apps, we have this tremendous opportunity to engage with our customers in real fucking life. And we can win so much better by, by making sure that our team are on point. Okay. Until next time. Ciao, ciao.